Hello everybody, the video today is about how to save the graphs, how to save the pictures, how to save the scripts and how to save the files when you are performing some analysis in Jump and maybe you need to stop the analysis and come back another moment, another day and you don't want to lose everything that you are running. So here to this example, to this video, I have a data table already used in other videos, but here the point is that I have some analysis open here, some analysis that I was performing and now I have to stop or I have to save, I want to save this these graphs in a report, in a PowerPoint file or in an Excel file. So where, how can I do it? You can just came here and come here and click or use your Ctrl C. For example, here I'm with this variability open here. I can just Ctrl plus C on my keyboard. I go there in my Excel and Ctrl plus V. So I have this image, I have this graph. But is not the best way uh, that you can copy your pictures. Why this? Because you don't have this name, is the head, the head of your your graph. So how, how can we perform this in a better way? I always say to my students that if you want to copy this, you should copy with this name as well. So every time that you perform a graph and analysis in Jump, you will see this gray triangle button here when you can with your right click here, edit copy picture. So I just I just had a Ctrl plus C, but with the name of the analysis. So now I have a very good, a very uh, fancy picture here because it's, this is high resolution and it has the name of the analysis. So I can copy the variability here. I can copy the control chart, edit, copy picture, I can copy the prediction profiler that I'm performing here, so here right click edit copy picture and I, I will put this one in the PowerPoint presentation. So it is very important the place the which one of these uh, triangles, this button, you choose. Because, for example, if I let this open here, summer of it and the prediction profiler, if I want to copy everything from here, I, want, I, I just click here. So, edit, copy picture from, from there, from above, and I just control V where I want to paste this and now I have everything that was open during my analysis it will be pasted in our report okay so this is very important if you want to copy only this little piece of your analysis you click here edit picture here all right and if you try if you try to perform this in your computer and it is different from mine, uh, be, it's, it's because I choose one option where I, when I ha where I have this background being transparent in my analysis. Look how how nice is it? Because this is transparent. This is a PNG file and it's transparent. So where can I change this. 
in our jump preferences, you will find a, 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 a session about reports. So you just click here on the reports and you, you have this transparent background for report PNG images. If I didn't uh, put this, if, if I didn't uh, select this, the, the moment that I copy this, for example, the same, the same summer fit, I, I have this color, this background color, it, it is not transparent any, anymore. So this is very different. So I like the transparent background. So I always using this transparent background in my reports. Very good. Let me put it again to so don't forget. This is the first part of the video. The, the next one is okay. I, I have to stop this analysis now because I have to lunch. I have to go out. Uh, and I, I would like to save this script. I, I'd like to save this, this uh, analysis here. So you can do this. You can save this script, the algorithm, the algorithm that is running this in your data table. Where you do this? Here in this red button here, you click and go there in save script. Save script to data table. So I have this saved now on my data table here. I can close this. I will, I will save the control chart as well. Save script to data table. It is saved and I will save the variability as well. Everything is saved to the data table. So the next time, look that I, I, don't, I don't have anything else open here. I just have the, the data table open. And now I want to perform this exactly the same variability. So I just came here and click and play. So the script will, will be run and the same analysis will be performed exactly the, the, the same way that you performed the first time. All the analysis. So I just, for that example, I just minimized everything here and I just copy, copy the, the things that I wanted. So this is the, this exactly the same script. This is very important when you uh, want to save exactly at the, the minimal details that you choose in the at the first place, right? The next, the the the, the, the last part about this is how to save the file, right? I can change the name of the call, the, the, the table here, for example, uh, regression table in English. So I have this this name changed here and I go there and just save, save the file. So I, I will save the file on my desktop, regression table in English, the name is already there. So it is saved. I can close everything here. And the moment that I open the file, I will have my analysis there, there uh, saved. A very important thing uh, to comment here is if you change, if you change the numbers of your data table, if you sort the values, for example, let's sort ascending here and I click to, to run the individual control chart, it's gonna be changed, it's gonna be performed as you organized your data table. So it is very important to know this because it's not freeze, it's not frozen. The, the first data table, that the, the first analysis that I run, is, it is not frozen. So if you change, if you exclude, if you hide some values, if you uh, add more rows, uh, change the name of the column, you will be 
you will have uh, some wrong messages or some wrong analysis, okay? This is very important. So, I hope I, I could help you again with this. I, I hope you like the video and if you have some doubts, if you have some questions, if you have some uh, different ways uh, how to perform this, please, I ask you to let on the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next video.